Today's manifestation tidbit is how to access a state of flow. Question for you. Have you ever given a speech or created a piece of artwork, played a sport or an instrument you love and felt so incredibly focused and alive that it almost felt like time completely disappeared? You know, those moments when your mind becomes totally absorbed in whatever it is you're doing. When you're in a state of flow, your entire being is immersed in the activity and everything just seems to be working together in complete harmony. I can speak for myself when I say I access this state of flow often when public speaking. It's those times when I feel like something bigger than me is doing the talking and I've completely gotten out of my own way. You know, it's when I'm not judging every move. I'm just letting the whole process unfold naturally. It's the most incredible feeling. But not only does it feel really good, studies show that you actually accomplish more in less amount of time. It's shown that learning rates in flow increase by 470%. So what that means is that when you're in a state of flow in this deep concentration, you end up cutting the amount of time that it would normally take you to do a given task in half. I like to visualize the, the, the picture of um, going downstream versus upstream when I think of flow, right? If you're going downstream, not only are you getting to your destination more quickly with less resistance, but also much more easily because there's less resistance versus going against the current upstream right? You're just going with the flow. Studies done on athletes when they're in the zone, I think in sports it's called going unconscious, show that their brain waves operate similarly to those in a deep state of meditation. Uh, The guy who coined the term flow, Dr. Chant Michali, uh, in the 1960s found that money isn't the leading factor in what makes people happy. What makes people happy, or the happiest, he says, is when they're in a state of flow. It's actually the reason you feel that natural high after giving a performance or doing something you really love. So you might be thinking, all right, I get it, that's all great, but what's the connection between accessing flow and co-creating, manifesting? So according to our holy Jewish sage, Rabbi Nachman, He says it's a huge mitzvah. It's a really big deal, in other words, to be in a constant state of happiness. In fact, the Torah states that prophecy was only achieved when a prophet was in an elevated state of happiness. The moment the sage became sad, his ability to have that direct phone line with the divine got severed. So in order to co-create... In order for that phone line, that channel to be open, we have to learn to access a state of flow because that flow makes us our happiest. So let's get right to it. Here are three tips to help you achieve this optimal state of flow. Tip number one, really important, remove all distractions when you're doing a task. And we all have tasks that we do every single day. So when doing it, remove all distractions. That could mean wearing headphones if there's other people around or putting your phone on airplane mode or hiding your phone, throwing it out the window for all I care. Just get rid of it while you're doing your task. If it helps for you to create a study space, have a designated space where you do your task. Close the door if there's other people around or schedule blocks of uninterrupted time in your calendar. Whatever you need to do, to remove distractions, do it in order to begin training your mind to access flow more easily. Tip number two, set an alarm clock for 25 minutes or for any reasonable amount of time. It could be 45 minutes or an hour. This is also known as the Pomodoro technique. And the idea here is that you allow yourself to work only on the given task during that designated amount of time. Studies show that successful people live with constant deadlines that they create for themselves, actually. So in other words, if, if someone knows they have, let's say, five years to make X amount of money versus one year or two months to make the same amount of money, what they'll do is 
they'll put off for later what they can accomplish in a matter of two months if they incorporate this technique. So when you give yourself a designated amount of time to work on something, you're actually training the neurons in your brain to become accustomed to accessing flow states. Tip number three, become a yes man or woman. In other words, get into the habit of saying yes to life, saying yes to opportunities, to suggestions, to questions. What this actually does is it trains your mind to lower the amount of resistance, the amount of no's you experience from the divine. So the idea here is you want to flow with the universe, not create more resistance. What you resist persists. The more you resist something, the more you end up closing doors of possibility and opportunities. And your job is to create more opportunities and to see more revealed miracles in your life. So start by saying yes as often as you can, even if it feels a bit ridiculous at first. And the final technique, which I personally love because I'm a big meditation fan, is called the meditation flame. So the Zohar, our holy book, suggests that by focusing on a particular sense, whether it's sight, sound, smell, taste, touch, by focusing on this sense, we're able to calm our minds and live fully in the present moment. So a common technique used in modern psychotherapy uses a candle as a focus for mindfulness meditation. All you do, really simple, is you basically sit in a dark room and mindfully watch the candle flame flicker. My suggestion is do this for five minutes every night before bed. Try it for 21 days in order to see how the results play out in your everyday life. And just a bonus is this meditation technique is also known to improve concentration, improve your mood, decrease anxiety, which are all really important in order to prepare the mind for powerful manifestations. So I think we see here, flow is accomplished when you're in the present moment, when you're here in the now. And for the first time in history, flow has begun to crack the code to peak performance. And the ability to co-create becomes more of a reality as a result. So, okay, I know we've covered a lot of ground in today's tidbit. Please reach out. Let me know times you've personally experienced flow in your life. I really get so much out of hearing from all of you. Um, So for now, that's all. Happy manifesting.